create an account in Genially. Genially is a online platform where you can create uh, very nice presentations. So we're going to use this in, on this section. And first of all, you have to go to Genially website. So you 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 just Google Genially or just here the, the website is in here. And when you type here this, you will go to this website. So we're going to log into Genially to sign up. It depends on your account. So let's go to login. And uh, we'll see this, this window. Uh, the easiest way is you have a Gmail account. So go to here. You have the Gmail account. This is the first option. If not, just wait a little bit in the video you, because we have more options. But if you have Gmail account, first I will show you this option. So you go to Google with Google and you press your account. This is my account. And then you are in. That's the, be the easiest option. So here, uh, the password, the, uh, you type the password. And then you are in. This is the, the website, generally website, where you can create your presentation. These are my presentations, so you can create your presentation from here. This will be another, another step to create the presentation, but first of all, I want to be sure all of you can get into Geniali. So I'm, I'm going to go out to show you how you can log in if you have no Gmail account. So you have no Gmail account, so you will be go here. The beginning we started at the beginning so we log in so we have no account so we have no account yet so we still haven't signed up others here others office we can use the school account office uh, then you write your school account my school account is this one uh, this is my school account So it will have my password. Uh, this is my password. And when you scroll account and your password, okay, so you will go inside. Don't worry, you just say yes, go go ahead. And then the first window you will find, you will see this one. So they ask you what sector you belong to. So corporate, digital center, your education. So for you in this case is secondary. So you just secondary, uh, next. Okay, secondary and next. Uh, you're a student, a teacher. You, you, you say, you, of course, you're a student. For, for me, in my case, I'm a teacher. So I click in teacher. Then next. Accept, of course. Because which will give you some tips. Oh, I don't need this one. No, nah, doesn't matter. Okay, so I'm here. So I'm in. So this is my dashboard. So this is previous presentation I created. But this is your dashboard. And when you want to start, just go to Create Genially. And then, okay, start, okay, again, it's the first time. That's the first time it get a lot of windows. Okay, fine, fine, fine. Okay, so what do you want to create? I want to create a presentation. And then you have many options. You have many options, many, many templates to use. So you look at the templates. So you have many templates. Please be sure you use templates without this option. This option is for pro. So don't use these ones because you, you cannot uh, export them later. So you can you have many with, of them without the star. So don't use the one with the star because the star you cannot share later. So for example, imagine I want to use this one without the star. So you click on this one. And then you can see this is the presentation. You can take a look to the, the, the presentation if you like. It has buttons here. Then the next slide. Okay, say the first one the second one this is a preview so if you like this one you say okay i want to use the template and you can start with the presentation it's going to start create so what slide you want to start i want to use this slide i want to use this slide and i want to use this slide and this slide maybe you can use you can add more later doesn't matter it's just you can add some of them and add and then you start the presentation at the beginning with only four, four slides but you can add or delete others later so look at this is my presentation at the beginning for, with four slides but i can add or delete them you can also you can take oh, let me see you can uh, it's the first time a lot of information here and then you can 
you have the slide, so you can, for example, you can move the slide, you can change the, 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 the position to it. You can drag and you change the position. And here, for example, you want to change, say, uh, my first. So that you can start changing things from, from the here. And it also you can add other pages or you can delete. You, can, you want to delete, just click on the trash and you delete this one. And you want to add a new page, you can add page and you can choose blank page or you can you, you know the style for example okay i like this style i want to use this template so you can add and use the template let me click this one let me click this one yeah add and when you choose one you add this one this is the template so you can add this one and you can modify you can change the images modify the images replace the image for another one change the text and and write here whatever you want while wow, your text here and then you can change everything and when you it's finished then you press you, when you finish you press all set and then it's public of course and you you press all set you you can present or you can share you can you want to share with others for example you press here and you have a public link here so you you, you can copy this link and you can share with your teacher or whoever you want. Also, in here you have this part. Yep. So present in here. You can share. And you can copy this link and share with the, this 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 presentation with, with your teacher. That's very easy. So okay, that's done. That's all. You can start now with your with creating your account first. And after creating your account, you can start with your first presentation.